So Brian Daly rings me. He says, come on, we're going on a mission. And I said, what's the mission? He says, we're going to Monaghan. So I thought, rock, pop, blues, could be anything. Blues, my thing in Monaghan. He says, we're going to Castle Blaney. Can I worry about me? Bog snorkeling. Now I'm joined by Neve. Neve, what's your second name? Uh, McNally. Neve McNally, and Neve's from Clontarf in Dublin. And she's here to do a bit of bog snorkeling. She's never done it before, have you? No, never, never. First time. And what brings you to Monaghan to do bog snorkeling? Uh, my mum heard about it, so me, my mum, and my dad just came up yesterday. Um, we stayed in a hotel in Cavan and we just came over today, this morning. Uh, so is your mum and dad doing it as well? No, just my dad. My mum's just a spectator there. <laughs> <laughs> what do you expect when you jump into this? Oh, I, I, the worst. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but your speech would be good. Is there any preparation you have to do or is it just do or die? Honest to God, I haven't got a breeze. I'm just going to go for it. Like, Try well, not get my hair too wet. <laughs> well, 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 we're going to watch Neve now. This is Neve in action. Um, we wish you the best luck, Neve. Cheers. <laughs> Here she goes. Well, Neve, well done. <laughs> First time you're in the lead. Yeah, surprised. <laughs> speed there. <laughs> I know, I'm absolutely bollocks now. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's putting it mildly. <laughs> now, your dad's in there, how do you think he'll do? Yeah, I'd say he'll do really well. Is this a start of a new career for you now? Yeah, you're going to take it up professionally now. <laughs> <laughs> Neve, ladies and gentlemen, the, the, she's in the lead so far. Let's see how she gets on. Well done, Neve. <laughs> Thanks very much. And we have the Minister for Tourism and Sport. Is that right, Minister? That's right. Well, tourism, Transport and Sport, yeah. Uh, three jobs in one. And the Minister very kindly took part in the bog snorkeling. Indeed, yeah. Tell us about it first, because we're going we're gonna to show some shots of it first. But tell us about your yeah, experience. Yeah, no, it's actually, actually it's quite, it's quite good. I, um, I, I wasn't sure what to expect, but... Um, uh, the water water was fairly warm and um, uh, it's, you know I'd done a bit of snorkeling before so it wasn't wasn't too hard to do I have to say I have to say the taste of bog water now wouldn't be to my liking so uh, you need a good cup of, of uh, tea now that's well, what I'm going to stop off and buy some blue cheese or something like that and <laughs> take away the taste and what what enticed you to come to this now I know it's a good tourism event but who who talked into actually doing the yeah, bog well, snorkeling I, I kind of I kind of saw it originally in the um, uh, in in the Irish Times I think it was last year and then I was talking to Sean Connell about it which is one of the local TDs and we were he was kind of joking about me coming to it and uh, that just kind of happened so but I'm glad I did it's been a lovely day and um, I hope it's an event that's going to grow it will grow and grow and of course speaking of things growing next year minister the gathering it's going to be massive that's right it is it's our biggest ever tourism initiative and 
Uh, it's coming together very well. So what we're going to have is a year-long program of events and festivals uh, all over the country. And what we're really encouraging everyone to do uh, is to invite somebody to attend some of those events. So uh, you could have your family re reunion at the same time, uh, have an alumni event for your school, um, have a meeting in around your business. Uh, if, you if you're part of a sports club, uh, invite another team to come over and do it around the time that the festivals are happening in, in your area. Uh, and we hope it'll bring in lots of additional tourists and lots of additional revenue at a time when we really need it. Can you written about the weather? No, no, that, that's <laughs> Phil Hogan's job, so um, let's talk to him about that. <laughs> well, look, the next year it kicks off 1st of January 2013. That's now, right. we're going out all over the world, so anybody that's watching now, Minister, what's the message to them with Irish Roots? Yeah, well, the message really is uh, is that Ireland's had a, la a couple of tough years gone by. Uh, things are starting to stabilise now and things are starting to improve. But we really need the support of the Irish overseas and uh, even not people of Irish heritage, but anyone who's an interest in Ireland or love of Ireland. And the best way they can help us out is by coming to visit in 2013. And we'll have a huge number of events and festivals on uh, to make make them feel very welcome and to make sure that it's very worthwhile and particularly when it comes to Cabin and Monaghan there are so many people over the, around the world who yes, have yeah, connections yeah. with the county and we love them to come and visit. Well we're gonna we're gonna spread the word out and we're gonna have a lot of, of initiative about the gathering which takes place next year and hopefully we get the minister back on. Minister Leo Vraca thanks very much thanks for very joining much. us. Thanks. Now we're here with Heather Humphreys good friend of ours of course and Sean here and Sean is one of the organizers well, the chief organizer Sean. Well, I'm right? TD here in, in Monaghan uh, from, from this area Castle Blaney Bally Bay and I suppose I was contacted by the organiser Declan Connolly who, who organised the event every year. Uh, I was a sponsor of the event last year and uh, I asked Minister Bradcar would he come down maybe and lend support this year. So you talked him into I talked him into coming jumped down. into a Monaghan bog? Well, he, he, uh, he, he was enthused about the event. He spoke about the event previously at some internal sp uh, tourism and sport meetings we had. So I, I raised the matter with him and said, look, when it's coming up, would you come down and possibly take part? So he said he'd take part if I did, so uh, I said I'd take part as well. Have so you done it yet? I have, yes. What uh, was your time? Uh, three minutes. Now, it's my first time snorkelling, and right. he did it in 226. He's in second place at the moment, so he's, he, he's did very, he, did, he did very, very well. But he's big, he's the legs. He has the legs. Have we got a wetsuit for Heather Humphreys? We have. I, I have a wetsuit for Heather here, and we're going, we, if you want it, we'll, 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 we'll bring it down now. Heather, great <laughs> to see you again. Great and to see you, Paul. And are you gonna, are you gonna, are we going to talk you into this? Sean, Sean and I have a little plan here that we're going to get you to do this. <laughs> Either that or the slide. The mudslide. <laughs> the mudslide. Compromise. Look, at, I tell you, Paul, I come from an area called Ahabog, and I, there are plenty of bogs at home now that I can <laughs> I can jump into if I feel like it, but not today. Not Maybe today. another day. But it's a marvellous event, Heather, isn't it? This is a tremendous event, and, you know, it's great that the Minister has uh, come down here today, and uh, I want to compliment the organisers, and I want to compliment my colleague Sean here for, for inviting the Minister down. It's, uh, it's a great uh, to see him here, and it's a fine day, and it's... Uh, it's all about uh, bringing up the profile of this uh, event that has been going on now for a number of years and it's also a very important too because it's a, a fundraising event for uh, uh, the, the young uh, uh, Kieran Ke 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 Connolly Ke 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 yeah. who has uh, unfortunately uh, is not well and uh, it's a fundraising event for that. So I think you know uh, this is what uh, the gathering is all about. It's yeah. all about local small events like this uh, attracting people from uh, different parts of the world and uh, indeed there's a number of people here from uh, other countries and it's great to see them and uh, it's a powerful day all around yeah. there are Sean, we, we will be here next year yeah, we'll, we'll be, here, be here every year we're trying to build the event yeah. now la every year there's a different charity involved last year was St Mary's uh, Hospital in Castle Blaney mm -hmm. um, and maybe next year we'll have we'll have another local charity but it's local charities who benefit from this event the two young lads here from Holland who booked the holidays around the event there are people here from Germany South Africa Belgium uh, and the UK, so uh, it's, it's, it's attracting people from all, all over. Because it's a quirky event, it's a novel event, and it captures people's imaginations. Well, Sean, if you just want to tell the camera, because this is going out literally worldwide, if you want to tell people, because we're going to get people interested in this, and we're going to have a really massive event for you next year. Yeah, I mean, we're going to, we're going to build uh, as, as the years go on. As I said, it is a novel event, a quirky event, and, and, and I'd encourage everybody to come along and give it a go. It's a, it's a fun event. I, I've never snorkeled before. This morning was the first time I snorkeled, and I enjoyed it, I have to say. Um, it's something that uh, I, say, I think it appeals to the imagination of everybody who wants to try a new uh, act activity sport and uh, this one here I think you should all give it a go. Well uh, we were down looking there and it's it's hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't do it. Why not? Well, maybe I will. <laughs> you can go before no. you leave now. You have to. I can't breathe. I get you wet suit. <laughs> can't breathe this. I get you Can't breathe <laughs> Well, maybe we'll see how it goes. If Brian Daly does it. If Brian Daly does it, you'll do <laughs> Maybe I'll do okay. it. Maybe I'll do it. But explain a bit about it. Bog snorkeling. How did it start? Where did it come from? I think from? it's Declan's brainchild. Declan, uh, Declan um, 
I heard about the you know the event that there's another event held in Wales. Yes. So um, Declan decided to bring the event to Ireland and. Uh, I think it's captured the imagination of people from all over the country. People here from all over Ireland to, to, to take part. And, and it's one of the rare events that doesn't matter about the weather. Exactly. It really doesn't. If it was pouring rain today... Being here or shine, it makes no difference. No, yeah, because yeah. you're just jumping in. Now, we're going to show some footage now in a few moments of, of just exactly what goes on. Thankfully, you missed myself and Leo <laughs> taking part, but uh, <laughs> maybe next year. Yeah. Well, was, it was, next year you was it cold? Of course we will. No, was it's it? lovely. Lovely. I'm warm. Warm. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Had this thinking. I know. I, 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 I just, I just want to say the minister was a great sport to come down. He, you was, know, he, was. he really was a great yeah. sport, and we have to, we have to pay tribute to him. Credit for to that. him. Yeah. yeah, it is. Yeah. And we have our own yeah. man here as well. He and and Sean as well. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> exactly, exactly. Uh, he took part as well. Yeah. Well, what, what yeah. was your time again, Sean? Yeah, three minutes. Oh. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm well, the world record, though, the, 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 the highest time so far is two twenty-five. So I need to improve. But uh, who's doing that? A tadpole. It's very fast, it's very fast, very fast. That is fast. Well, Sean and Heather, thanks a million for coming on. Thanks very much. And this is the fourth year, and it'll be going on and on and on. Hopefully it'll build in strength every year, but I mean, I said, I like to give credit to Declan Connolly, the organiser, yet again, is that it is a, it's it's his brainchild, and uh, it is for a good cause every year, and... uh, yeah, as you can see here today, it's a relaxed atmosphere and it's excellent. It's excellent. Uh, p- people are enjoying themselves and that's what it's all about. Brilliant stuff. Well, we're yeah. going to have Declan on now in a few moments. But in the meantime, many thanks to our friend Heather and of course to Sean. Now I'm joined by the, the man, the brains behind bog snorkeling, Declan Connolly. Declan, how on earth did you come up with this idea? Well, actually, it was a, a mate of mine who does my website, uh, John McKeown, phoned me one day a couple of years back. Typical Irish summer, it was lashing out of the heavens. And I made a comment that this field, you couldn't make it out from the bog. And he said, have you a bog? And I said, yeah. He said, have you heard of bog snorkeling? I said, I've never heard of it. I googled it. I saw that do it in Wales. So I said, if they can do it there, we can do it. Well, we've got excellent facilities. <laughs> there's no doubt about it. There's no shortage of bogs or there's no shortage of water around Monaghan anyway. And now the way it's going, there's no shortage of people to do it. Yeah, it's the way the whole trend's going now, people want to do extreme sports, wacky sports. Yeah. And, you know, it's for the, the guys who compete to win this. It's actually very tough. And, you know, fast times, the winner is about 1.30. That's very, very fast. So it takes a wee bit of skill and a wee bit of training. And also it's physically demanded. So there's the fun element and then there's the serious element in as I well. Was, I was watching it down there. And we're going to show some footage now in a few moments. Yeah. It's tough stuff. It's tough stuff, yeah, yeah. But it's, it's great entertainment. It, it is good, yeah. The two rules, snorkel in the mouth at all times and flipper power only. So once you have the snorkel bit mastered and you get the breeding going, then you, you should do okay. And I did notice, and I have to say it, a lot of women. Yeah. Oh, they love it. Yeah, they love it. And half the girls just come down here, uh, do it in their swimsuits. And it's a big, big challenge, you know. And, and swimming and, and fitness now is just taking over. And women, uh, men, we have, ju- we have junior girls, junior boys doing it as well. So it's brilliant. Fourth year in a row, going on and on and on. As I said to Sean earlier, if you want to tell the people out there now, because this is going worldwide about bog snorkeling in Monaghan, well, Castle Blaney, between Castle Blaney and Do Hamlet, yeah. tell us all about it. There. Well, um, 2013 is the big gathering for, for next year. I know the government and Board Falls are doing a joint venture, so we intend to make next year the fifth year coincide with 2013, and we are going to put the, put the feelers out all across Europe. We have people already here from South Africa and New Zealand. We've guys up here from Holland and Belgium. So next year we're going to go push the boat out, maybe make it into a weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, put in extra events and uh, make it into the, make it as big as the Welsh International Festival. Well, it really is. It's, it's gathering momentum now. We can see by the crowds that you've got here today. Yeah. And I see on your T-shirt here the, the website. Yes, the website's www.irishbogsnortling.com and we also have our own uh, Facebook page. It's just bogsnortling at, uh, at Facebook. So we keep all the, all the photographs from today will go up on that. We have a campsite this year and again next year we're going to go bigger and better. So if anybody wants any information, check our website, check our Facebook page and then it'll be updated with all events. Declan, I can see this growing and growing and growing. You're going to have, like, you have bands here today, you have a bit of some music, you have stuff for kids going on. It's a whole family day and it's going to grow and grow. Exactly, yeah, because, you know, a lot of the parents take the kids out. So we have the mudslide going here for the, for the kids. We have a bounce of castle, we have face painting. We have a There's ice- some pretty big kids on that mudslide. Well, there is, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, let's just say they're for the, the adult kids, you know. I have to go up on that later on as well. So we're, going to, we're going to film Declan doing yeah. the mudslide now in a few moments. <laughs> but, uh, like I said, we try to keep them. When the family comes, just want to keep them here. And then when people stay, then they're happy enough to stay and, and spend the day. And it's a good day. Crack with a, bar- with a barbecue, and like I say, we do it for charity every year. The last three years we've done it for St. Mary's, and this year is for actually my nephew, who's four years of age, diagnosed with cancer. So our proceeds go to him. So, great, 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 worthy cause, uh, among everything else. And so, you're raising money 
for a fantastic cause for the poor four-year-old child diagnosed with cancer. Declan, thanks very much. Thank and you. We'll have you on again, and we're going to look at him doing the mudslide now in a few moments. But this is some footage of the bog snuggling. Take a look at this. Well, you're very welcome to the auditions for the film for Fifty Shades of Grey. I've two, no, I'm only joking. These are two uh, gentlemen from Holland who have come to the Bog Snorkeling Championships here in Monaghan. And you can see they're crazy. I have Morris and Bart here. Lads, how did you hear about this? Uh, two years ago, we went to Gloucester. Do you know Gloucester? Yes. Uh, from uh, the cheese rolling event. And then we heard about the Bog Snorkeling. And then we thought, OK, let's go. So you, you, you're extreme sportsmen? No, not no, really. We're, we're looking we're for just fun. crazy. I guess. Just crazy guys. Yeah. Yes, a little Holland. bit. Yes. To do crazy things, and unusual things. That's that's what we, we can't like. do it in Holland because it's flat. Uh, islands all hills and. Yes. Yeah. It's Russell. really beautiful here. We are yeah. glad that we are here. And have you done the snorkeling yet? No, not, no, yet. not yet. We are training we're to the to the mud slide. You're on the mud slide. Yes. yes. We're going to get some shots of you on the mud slide. Okay, we're going to and now here we are at the mudslide and we've got our two Dutch friends that we were just talked to and they're going to come down the slide. Watch this for a bit of speed. Okay lads, let's do it. Here we are at the, the, the luxurious end, lu luxurious end of the, the bog snorkeling, at the jacuzzi, and the lads here are gonna show us the the, the benefits of the jacuzzi. Enjoy, lads. Three, two, four. <laughs> Come 
Now this is the nutcase you've just seen coming down there. <laughs> and this is Mary, Mary from Blaney. Yeah. What was that like? Oh, that was deadly. Exhilarating. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to do it this morning, but it took me some persuading, but I don't know. I'm glad I did it. It's and deadly. It, you had a photographer taking pictures of you, and we were there. We, were, oh, that's we, we need to put a camera on your back. <laughs> that's my friend. She's taking them for me. I do photography as a hobby. Are you going to do the snorkeling? I've been in and took photographs of the minister and the bog and all this morning. Have you done it yourself? No, I can't swim. Oh, she doesn't have to swim, it's a bog. You can walk through it. It's bad enough, so it is. Lucky I had tight shoes on me or I would have lost them. Oh, Mary has to get out of this wetsuit now, so we're just going to follow her and film that. Mary, thanks a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah.